Hey guys, Death Star Diva here, and I am bringing you a movie review. As you guys can see, dressed up like my girl, Harley Quinn. So, Harleen Quinzel. And shout out to my daughter who did my makeup. I think it looks pretty awesome, actually. And I have my daddy's little girl shirt. <laughs> More like monster, but hey. So, sorry for the noise in the background. Um, Space Cowboy 909 is playing Destiny right now. So, Mr. J's playing Destiny. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys a review on the movie. So, we just seen Suicide Squad, and it is Thursday. We actually got early tickets. Say hi. This is my little Batgirl. She dressed up like Batgirl. Anyways, um, so we seen the movie, and it was... It was good. Um, it dragged in a couple of places, I will not lie. And I think I had a lot more expectations... And so, not that it disappointed, but it's a little different than what I had expected. Um, I will say that. So, let's get started. Spoiler alert, if you have not seen the movie yet or do not want me to spoil anything for you, turn the video off. But like and subscribe first. Um, so, as far as the movie goes, um, there was a lot of rumors about a lot of different things. Um, they were talking about a sex scene between the Joker and Harley Quinn. That did not happen. Um, there was talk about the whole movie being around Deadshot and like about his backstory. That did not happen. Um, and then they said it was going to be this whole thing about how the Joker came to be. That did not happen. So, the movie is loosely based on, and I will say loosely, based on Assault on Arkham. So, if anybody's ever seen that movie, cartoon, um, it is loosely based on that. However, the characters obviously are different. So, they have Killer Croc in this one. Um, Captain Boomerang is still in it. Um, but they don't have Killer Frost and like a couple of other ones. So, um, but for the most part, um, I think they did the movie justice. Um, obviously if you guys have watched the movie, um, Assault on Arkham, they did put like a bomb in their necks so that, um, they wouldn't stray. They had to do the mission. Um... There was a couple of scenes with the Joker. He was not in throughout the whole movie. Um, there was like a cameo of Batman. Um, a cameo of The Flash. Um, they did have... <sighs> there was some parts that I was kind of like they could have did it a little bit better. Um, I do not... One of the biggest things I didn't like was I didn't like the fact that they didn't... They portrayed the Joker to be more of a, like, hopeless romantic. And yes, he does love Harlequin, but he does not have the capacity to love her unconditionally to the point where she, like, where she loves him. So, it, it's a different type of love. Like, he loves her as property, not as the love of his life, the person that he wants to be with for the rest of his life. But he doesn't like people touching his property. So he does get very jealous um, and he gets very possessive. That he's always done. Um, but they, they made him out to be more of a romantic in this one and where it was portraying more of um, he like stood up for her, stood by her, you know, that whole thing. The only time it ever showed anything where it was like their relationship was um, when the car crashed into the water and he took off and left and left her in the water. Um, so that was the only part that kind of showed like his um, real side to how he treats Harley Quinn. 
Um, with that being said, I think that Margot Robbie did an excellent job as Harley Quinn. I think that Jared Leto played an awesome Joker. Um, you kind of... In this one, you didn't really want to hate him. It was more of a, like, you like him. Um, which the Joker has always had that side to him where, like, you love him and you hate him at the same time. And he wasn't as dark as, like, the Heath Ledger Joker or the Jack Nicholson Joker. So, um, this one you kind of made, you kind of liked him a little bit more. So, um, oh, my makeup's coming off, just like in the movie. <laughs> Anyways, um, so that's my take on the movie. I, I will say that I cannot wait for the DVD to come out for the director's cut. Um, I'm waiting for that. Hopefully, uh, that will be coming out soon, um, after the movie, so I don't have to wait too long. But it may be in theaters longer than we expect. I'm not sure. I don't know what the buzz about it is. Um, so I'll just leave it at that. Um, so we are getting ready to watch this movie. We'll probably watch it tomorrow. But Batman's a killing joke. And I got like a little exclusive figurine with that. So we'll be watching that. Um... When we did go to the movies afterwards, we went out to eat and there was some girls that were really salty and throwing shade about the fact that I cosplayed as Harley Quinn and they were trying to make jokes and say things about the fact that like I wasn't a true fan and I was just cosplaying as Harley Quinn in the movie and Suicide Squad and they're like, we would never get a shirt that had anything that had to do with Suicide Squad. We're all about just Harley Quinn and old school and da 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 da. Well, I did it because I was watching the movie Suicide Squad. It had nothing to do with the fact that I love Harley Quinn. Always have loved Harley Quinn. And I don't have like a black and red jumper just laying around to put on. So um, Space Cowboy 909 bought me this shirt. It was nice enough to buy me the shirt. And I thought, you know, my hair is already pink with a little bit of blue. I thought might as well, you know. So I don't care what they say. Um... And if you ever get people that make fun of you cosplaying or anything else, just be you. Be yourself. Don't worry about them. Because we found out in the end, those were some really, really salty girls. And they were just not only talking about me, but they were talking about their own friends, which is sad. They must not have a lot of friends. But they were literally talking crap about almost everybody. So that's a sad life to live, to to hate on so many people and instead of spreading love and spreading joy and just being yourself and being you and appreciating and accepting the fact that there's people out there in this world that are different and to respect everybody for their differences. I'm not like everybody expects me to be or anything like that, but I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. Um, I am me. I'm who I am and I have family and friends that love me. And I don't worry about it. So it doesn't make me lose sleep at night. So don't let it get you down. Don't let bullies hurt you or say things about you to make your life miserable. Because you know what? There's always going to be somebody that loves you and appreciates you for who you are. So don't even worry about it. So with that being said, I'm going to take off this lovely makeup that I have. And go and get some beauty sleep. So... Don't forget to like and subscribe and I should be posting a video soon coming out on Destiny Rise of Iron because you guys know that's my favorite game so I'll be doing that soon. In the meantime, have fun, have a great night, Yahtzee!